oil-based society where the world is ruled by crude oil prices. Importers like Kenya would normally benefit when crude prices crash from highs of $147 per barrel in mid-2008 to the current average of $40 per barrel on the world price list. This is not a reflection of what's happening in Kenya's pumps. There was a technical uh, problem in the last uh, one month or so with our refinery, uh, which, is, uh, being, which has been solved. And, uh, and also, there have been uh, delays in the uh, ships uh, arriving in Mombasa due to the piracy problems. That's the way we have had, uh, we have had the explanation. It hasn't been easy for car owners in the country to fill their tanks. Skyrocketing palm prices and fuel shortages have continued to stall the oil industry. I am a believer in free market. I also uh, do think that petroleum industry in total, both in Kenya and in internationally, is not a fully free market because uh, of the, just the nature of the resources, they are only in some certain places. You cannot go and make petroleum, you only uh, produce it from where you get it from. So in which case then, I think there needs to be a mix of the two, some level of government intervention in how the industry is operating, and also some level of allowing the market uh, forces uh, in the economy also drive the, the operation. Due to what has been referred to as artificial oil shortages, private crude oil imports have been banned in Kenya, except through the Energy Ministry's controlled open tendering system, and Keno Kobil has just backed that tender. We are very focused on this OTS business. Uh, we are commanding around 50% from the 50% and above from the oil crude coming into this country uh, and to the region because our refinery in Kenya is not producing only for uh, the Kenya needs, it's to the region at large. In the past, players have been adjusting the prices freely and now the Kenya Energy Regulatory Commission has proposed plans to introduce a formula of price capping intended to cushion both the industry players and the consumers. We have had a stockholders workshop which we, where we discussed thoroughly the inputs and we, in b based on the inputs we received we have made some adjustments and we are about to finalize the process and to take that, uh, those regulations to the Minister for Energy so that uh, if he, he, he approves then they become uh, effective. What we need to make sure that when we are talking about price control we need to look at the issue of level playing field that standard of a service station in Kennel or in Cobill or in other oil company or other independent guy that set up his station will be the same standard, the same safety. With these hurdles, players will have to brace for a more difficult year, even as the government tries to save the situation. Consumers are enjoying some uh, uh, lower prices right now. There are a lot of questions out there on how long we expect this to continue. There is a possibility um, uh, because of the current world economy that uh, the prices are going to stay low for some time, probably through the whole of 2009 and uh, part of 2010, if not all of it. But after all that, they are, the consumers should still brace themselves for high petroleum prices again. And uh, unlike in the past when uh, it, there were, may not have been fundamentals that led to a price increase, this time there might be. Because during the times of low, price consum uh, low petroleum consumption, there is a uh, suppressed investment. 2009, we see a bit of the slowing in growth. Uh, due to the current economic crunch, which is uh, affecting the whole, the whole world. Uh, we already seen a number of our industries uh, being affected, like the panel paper mills, you know, as you know. Yeah. But the actual effect may not be known as yet, because, it, as I say, it also depends on many other factors, you know. Kenya's strategic location means that the country is likely to benefit from the discovery of oil in neighboring Uganda if the ongoing talks of the East African community will be refined. Now, um, Uganda is uh, one of our biggest trading partners as a country, and uh, we have even exported labor and other uh, products to Uganda. If that economy becomes vibrant through petroleum operations, a lot of that economic benefit will flow into Kenya. I see a situation where, uh, where, where although we will replace the pipeline transport from Mombasa to Uganda, 
with the, um, uh, Uganda being able to sat satisfy its own consumption. I see a situation where Uganda will then need to export. So we might just turn the pipe proud and start exporting from Uganda uh, to the Indian Ocean, in which case Kenya does not lose any revenue but gains through a stronger economic partner. For a real impact to be felt, policymakers need to improve the supply-demand balance in oil markets, which in turn would make these markets less vulnerable to shocks and therefore more stable. This could be the one thing that gives Kenyans the energy to fuel their needs.